and welcome back to my little workshop here. Um, well, I got this lock clamped up in the vise. I was successful this week, uh, or well, yesterday picking some locks. I uh, just didn't get them on camera because I was sitting on the couch picking them. Uh, but uh, I did get four locks picked that should be coming up on camera for you sometime soon. I got this Asa. That's a loaner from Bill Bacardi. I did get finally that one picked, uh, but not on camera. Same with this bad boy here, this Area 51 experiment. And this one right here, which has been bugging me ever since I failed picking it out of the package, which is uh, the One Fang Vampire from Fast Charlie. There's your key, guys. I can't touch pin number one when I'm picking this. Uh, it is a bad, bad boy. So I want to try to see if I can't get this one picked on camera for you today. Um, digging through some picks over here. I was picking on the couch, so uh, I had a bunch of them over there. <laughs> Put some stuff back. All right, I want to start out with uh, homemade diamond. And... I'm going to use, I guess, this pry bar. Yeah, it doesn't quite give me really good control of the keyway, but uh, good enough. Because these Titans have that square opening up at the top, which makes them a little bit harder to get a hold of. So let's see what I can do. Let's go to get the camera moved around a little. There's a click from two, or sorry, three. A click from four. And then six put me into a false set. Um, so this false set has had me lingering for a while. I'm trying to get out of it. Counter rotation on two. I think I overset it. So back in. Yep, counter on two, and I got it that time. That was a click on three. That's a click on five. So I'm going to change up my picks here and direction. Okay, that was pin two. That's pin four. Pin five. Fast Charlie really did a good job when he made this lock.
that pick is still a little bit on the tall side. I'm going to go for one that is just ever so slightly shorter. That was pin two. That was pin three. I'm on pin four now. Struggling to get underneath the pin five. Okay, got to click off a of five. Okay, I think I just got pin six. That's pin four. Six, two, four, That was pin four. Pin six is the trick on this one. Yeah, I had a little bitty click out of it. Switch to something a little bit different here. There it is. Okay, and six had to manually rotate some. That was pin one. Two, three, four. Actually, nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five. And I don't feel anything on six either now.
two, three, four. We cannot get underneath the six. Okay, did get a little bit of movement out of six finally. Let's just go back in here with a taller pick. Yeah, that pin on six likes to fall back down. Okay, I just felt something just clunk right into place. Hopefully that was me finally getting pin six set. This is a mean, mean old lock. Um, go back to this pick for a minute. There we go. Oh, man. Fast Charlie, you had me going on this thing for so long. It wound up in my naughty bucket for a little bit. And, uh, man, thanks for this lock. Uh now guys uh fast charlie sent this to me uh he did say he can't believe the key works <laughs> and shim to gut it uh man and uh, he also sent this uh diagram for what's inside the lock so let's go ahead and look at it before i get it try to keep the lock in frame here too but uh here we go. That's what the uh, that's what he designed to go into it. So uh, let's see what they look like. It's actually a pretty handy dandy diagram, but uh, I didn't cheat and I didn't look at it. Oh man, it feels good to get that picked on camera at least. turn it around the right way. Okay, grab a little screwdriver and I'll knock this clip off the back. Okay, and it does say use a shim to gut, so I will most definitely. And it doesn't want to go in there. Let's try going in from the side and slicing it up. That works. Whew. Guys, I'm shaking. I don't normally get the shakes after picking a lock. But having one like this hold me back, man. 
doing some work. Okay, so let's show you the pins right off the top. You can see that one without the key in it is completely flush with the shear line with a little bitty short one right behind it. So a definite overset trap there with uh, pin two. And there's some work done to the plug too. So let's go ahead and dump these out into this awesome pinning tray that West Coast Picks made for me. <laughs> if these would dump out into the right pin, that'd be great. Man, that's a long spool. Serrated on top of that. All right, so pretty cool pins to start the ball game with. And let's look at the plug. I definitely see some mods. I see threading in chambers one, six, a slight groove cut in the top of chamber four. Almost uh, counter milling, but it's only cut on one side. Then some deep counter milling on chamber four. All right, let's go ahead and get this shim out of here. And oh, I was looking for my tweezers. They'd have been a snake, they'd have bit me. Okay, I thought that was just a stuck pin, but no, it's got a pretty non-existent spring going on there. And it's not wanting to come out, so I'm not going to force it. A really weak spring on this one as well. Oh, that was actually a pin and pin and the spring did come out. I should know that. I looked at the diagram. Full-size spring for chamber three. Got a mushroom pin. A spool. And a serrated spool. Okay, um, let's go ahead and try to knock the spring out of five here. It don't want to come. So let's spring out of four. Oh, that was four and five it looks like, but this one was four because I saw that little bitty head of it poking up. And I got one spring left, and that's chamber one. And it don't, oh, I see why it don't want to come out. It's actually trapped. Okay, so we'll leave it trapped. All right, so let's take a good close look at these pins. And we'll see if they match the drawings, which they kind of look like they do. Okay, I've got a heavily serrated pin in one with a heavily serrated driver. Nice sharp serrations to get caught up in the threads. Um, yeah, one was threaded. I've got a spool here with a pin and pin. Nice serrated pin and pin and a serrated collar too. Uh, very nicely serrated here in three with a nice serrated spool above it. I've got a standard and a very long serrated mushroom and a very long serrated spool key pin and a little short serrated spool. Then I've got another serrated key pin here and I've got this really nice uh, kind of double serrated spool uh, pin. Really wicked work here. Looks great. Um, I got half springs in one, half spring in four, half spring in five, full spring here in uh, three and six. And I imagine one's a half spring because I couldn't get it out of there. And well, you saw that it was wound up on top of the little plug there and I wasn't going to take that off. But anyway, Fast Charlie, uh, 
great job, man. It's out of my naughty bucket and ready to go on to the next victim. Everyone, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you see one of these out there in the wild and it's not yours, don't pick it.